All right, let's see what's going on because it's been a Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Murray Mint. Oh, yeah. I hope everyone's all right. I hope everyone's having a great, great week. And um, thank you. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and turn your notifications on by ringing the bell. That would be amazing. Thank you. So, yeah, this week I've had the great pleasure of seeing a friend who is medium, a psychic, um, spiritualist, you know, all those things, um, to do a reading for me and she's kindly agreed to let me film it. I'm really, you know, excited what Louise could say. I'm also nervous. I don't think she'll tell us anything that, you know, like I'm going to be knocked over by a bus or something. But you never know. I mean, I don't get public transport, so the likelihood of me stepping out onto a road with a bus is very small, but you never know, do you? Do you? I've seen this lady before, she's brilliant. She gives names and things and she gives, you know, she, she contacts people who are not around anymore, so it's a bit of a comfort. So I'm really excited to see what Louise has got in store for me. So let's check it out. Two hours later. <laughs> Give them a good shuffle. Put your vibes in. You just relax there. This crosses you, this covers you, this protects you, this foresees your future, this foresees your past, and this crowns you. See, you've channeled spirit, but I don't know if you sometimes doubt your psychic abilities. I think you do. Not so much on seeing things, it's more the spirit side. Yeah. I think that you've got the Starbians with you. I think you've got a lot of angel protection in here. You're well protected. And all this strange phenomena, people are picking you up now because of the cameras. Yeah. You've always been with you from being little. Yeah, I couldn't understand that. When you're different, you know, remember we're spirit beings living a human existence. This is you. You feel like, the, you feel like you're the broken angel. You just keep going. You put that smile on your face. You will get there. True. You will get your dreams. It's, it's hard industry to get into. I don't know if you've just thought, shall I leave the actor and shall I carry it on? Keep going. Don't just think of one thing. Just try everything. The podcast, try everything. Okay. Radios, radio stations. I don't know why I'm getting that with you. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, you've been doing radio? Yeah. And I want to see if they'll be well known as Alan Robson, if not more. Cool. So you just got to keep going. Cool. And I like your hair like that, by the way. Thank you. you. I just think it's not always, as, as you know as well, it's not always about going into pubs, nightclubs, to be the right person. You're probably thinking, you don't know if you've been on your own that long, you don't know if you could share. Yeah. The thing is, you don't have to go by what society says. Yeah. Could be the case if you've got your home, he's got his, he calls you to see you, bye bye in the night, 10 yeah. o'clock at night, maybe enough for you. That's probably. Stay the odd night. Yeah. It's somebody who's very caring and who fits into your life will be the right person. Yeah. And he's a good cook. And I still, I still maintain, I could see you coming in those dark nights and he's cooking something for you and he's looking after the dogs. Champion. You know, some people can go from one relationship to another and that's fine, but if you're very old soul, which I think you are, you're old star seed, yeah. eighth angel, you, you, I'm going to get this in a minute, but you are ascended, you're very ascended. You didn't have to come back here. You didn't have to come back. And I know this might sound a bit strange because we don't always, how can I put it, choose we don't think we choose but we do yeah we choose what families will come into whatever and i'm not saying that you chose to have a disability yeah but maybe this has had to be this way for you to change things in society it's about turning everything from negative into a positive but yeah. you've got to believe you're sexy and you are sexy and you will attract that right guy in right because you're thinking, oh my God, how could I share in the bed with them and the mask on, daddy, daddy, yeah. all these things going around in your head, how well, I can't do it this way. And look, don't worry about that. Yeah. Don't worry about that. I have young squaddies come to see me with no legs and they've got sexy vibes. Yeah. You've got to stop worrying. Yeah. And you'll always, always be able to walk. It's been your determination. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I mean, I've got this vision and you're sitting in here, but you've got a different setting. I don't know why it's bigger, it's going to be bigger. Right. And you're going to have that, you're going to have this from there. Yeah. And this, this is going to be all different in here. And you're lying on the couch, 
how the hell are you going to change a door? There's all these things what's going through in my head. And it looks corner set and he's pressing your feet and you've got your shorts on, you're just dead happy. And you're watching the telly with the dogs. Right. He's really, you need a, I've always maintained this, you need a strong man, but a sensitive man. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. And it's not just your lover, he's your best friend and everything. And I don't think you're looking, I just think it's happening. Okay. You'll do a lot of talking to get to know each other. A hell of a lot of talking, you're going to be confused for the first few months. Because you might not instantly fancy him. I mean, you know, some of the best relationships have been friends. Yeah. But he'll have his hang ups as well. It's like his strengths will be your weaknesses, and your weaknesses will be his strengths. Yeah. He's a very grounded man. And I think because you're very psychic, I think that'll keep you right. I see him doing some in your garden, and your dad likes him. Cool. So there's, there's, there's special times to come. But maybe it's about turning everything from a negative into a positive while you're on your own. Yeah. Why's your bedroom getting you down? Um, oh, because there's a big picture that was your sister put on the wall and it fell down and she hasn't put it back up. And it's been lying on the line, irritating. irritating us for months. You should put it on with this no nails thing. Oh, can I just hook it up? It's massive. You see, I think you might always choose to live on your own if you want. Yeah. Which is, you don't have to go by what society says. I've got a married couple that comes to see me and they reckon the secret to their marriage is they've lived separate for 30 years. Really? And they come together when they want to be together and then they go separate when they want their own space. It works for them. Whatever works for them, isn't it? But I'm finding a lot of earth, there's a lot of earth angels being awakened now and they seem to like their own space. And they've had like upset after upset and then they're realising now they're having this awakening because they're different. And I think that's you. Yeah. <laughs> You've done a lot of changes on yourself, a lot of massive changes. One thing that's been been quite stressful and things yeah. have changed in that. In uni and everything, maybe you've had to have that space for you and whatever he's going through, but you as well need. And I hear the ocean, so maybe he doesn't live far. He's taller than you, mind. I need to give you some numbers. Seventeen. 21, 27, your mum loves you, you know. Yeah. Good. Why are you being worried about your nana? Um, I think just because she's getting old now. Do you know what I mean? She's not ready to go anywhere yet. What's going on with her leg or her foot? Oh, it, actually she's got something on her leg. I was looking at her leg on Sunday because it had this like bruised patch. Oh. And I was thinking, I wonder what that is, but... Um, Just but skin change to get better to get older, doesn't it? I think that might be it, but... Um, I think she's in... I'm not sure if she's lacking in certain vitamins or anemic or... Okay. But um, she's fine. Edemia? Edemia? What's that? So is it your mum's mum? Yeah. Because she misses her and sees her a lot in her dreams, you know. Does she? I've got a picture of your mum. Did your mum... Like, I don't know if this is your mum I'm seeing with wavy hair. Um, or is this some other lady what's coming in with dark wavy hair? Dark wavy hair. might be my mum, it sounds like. Were you quite long in the booth? Did she have problems having you? Don't know. So guys, I'm just doing the edit and I don't even know what a long birth is. And I am not Googling that. No, thank you. So if you know what it is, comment down below. Not below, you know what I mean. Back to the edit. Does your nana not know? She nana would know. That's me, mum. She's so beautiful. That's me, dad. That's me, mum. Even the trouble of your mother. You reckon? We've got to look at your dad as well. Yeah. There's a bit of both. She's so beautiful. Yeah, she was. No, there's another lady with dark, wavy hair. So I don't know if that was an auntie or a grandma of hers or connected what comes in around your nana as well around you all the time. She didn't want to go. She didn't want to leave you. No. And life can be so cruel. One day, when you're a very old man, you'll see him again, but you've got no living and nothing to do here. Yeah. And who's Carol or Claire? Carol. Is that somebody your mum knew more for all your nana? Uh, I think Carol was one of the mum's friends, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. and, I... and Debbie. 
It was Debbie. Don't know if I know Debbie. I'll leave that one with you. And your chest is going to be fine, okay? I just think you're just dead sensitive there. Okay, yeah. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Give us three numbers between 1 and 13. I keep getting them. Oh, I've got it all night tonight. Oh, Paul. Oh. Why are you very bad at me? Um, I've got a cousin called Paul. You don't really get the same that much, do you? Oh, no, no. No. Oh, my God, I've just had this flash. You are, he's, he's definitely coming in. And that's, right, watch for the name Paula Lee. I watch for big news of the name Paula Lee. I mean, it could be something so random where he knows these people. Or, okay. And it's dark. And he's a standing kissing outside the bedroom, going into the bedroom, and he's kissing your neck. Who? Paul? This man. This man that you're going to meet. Oh, not me cousin then. Definitely not. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Who's wanting a decade? What? Were you fitting to get the Deccan? Yes, I was just talking about it today. I can see a Deccan out there as well. I see the, the cube and I see a Deccan. Yeah. That's and I see like palm trees and it's all very... Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, yes. And he was talking about getting fish in the outside, like the cob fish. I was talking about that to someone the other, the other week when I, I went to the house to um, to get... Like, this girl did some makeup on us and her dad had a outdoor fish tank and I said I would love it but I would end up falling and drowning. No you wouldn't. Oi oi. Just me again, just doing the edit. Um, I just need to clarify. So the other week when I was doing the special effects makeup, I'll leave an in info card there so you can uh, go and watch it. I was talking to Rhiannon's dad about a fish tank that he has in the garden which is unbelievable. And of course I wanted one. Yes. Another thing she's got right. Spooky shit. So if you ever get someone to do you like a decking, you'd have to have like a little corner bit for someone. Yeah, well that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Like I almost thought it could be like... Or a waterfall. Yeah. Even. Yeah, get frog's mind. Give us three numbers between 1 and 13. Um, we'll be getting strange dreams. Yeah. They're trying to communicate with you in the dreams and the star Lord. people have been coming in around you. Who? The star people, people. Pleiadians. Yeah, lately. Mm -hmm. So a funny thing happened recently. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a guy phoned us from who I met in Morocco in 2003. Oh, this is literal? To tell us that he's had a vision about us two nights in a row in Trent. That he could see two people that were trying to harm us, to use us. Um, and that I had to be careful. And he said that, and um, he's. He, Is he gay this that? No. So I've, I've never spoken to him for 16 years. Six people, but why did. I think he has had that dream, and I think that spirit shows sometimes it's been it's got twisted, right? Because you are too protected. You're too protected by Michael, Archangel Michael. Oh, I'm getting a funny deja vu. I have a feeling that if this dream's been sort of twisted back where you should, you were possibly protecting him. Okay. And it's been shown different to this dream. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if I speak to him again, what do I say? Just say you're talking to a psychic and that's not the case. And sometimes yeah. dreams can get twisted and it might mean something by in his life or... Yeah. The death doesn't mean death. <laughs> <laughs> it means the ending of... Something, yeah. When we're, when we're jumping up, and I'm trying to say that you're going to come on happy clap and start becoming like a medium and start, you know, but you become more psychic and sometimes when we're pushing through into this next dimension, we get strange things and strange people can say strange things to it. Yeah. It's like trying to freak what out. Yeah. You've got to believe in your Archangel Michael power before I leave this house tonight. Because it's it all comes down to good and evil and we're all channels to look, you know. So I'm not saying this man's not a psychic, but he's seen this sort of a thing and it, it sometimes it can get twisted okay. if you're not balanced enough. I think you've gone to him. He's a warrior. He does a lot of astral travelling. He's, a, he's a, like, a bit like a shaman. But I can see the happy backy with him. Okay. And he's got to be careful, he's like, the, the star seeds 
violent indigos, they're very, they can have sometimes addictive personalities. Yeah. They think they're untouchable. I think his, his vision's got twisted. <laughs> it's about self-belief and knowing that nobody can ruin whatever you're going for. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. It's like we're programmed in as a society to think a certain way and be superstitious. We'll always have jealousy in my life, but nobody can touch it. Yeah. You've jumped to a different level. And sometimes people when the channel, sometimes it can be channeling a demon or, or something to try and frighten you. Yeah. And I'm not saying he's like that because he's, he's a nice lad, but I just think he's too wide open and I think something's got twisted with him, with his vision. Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is really strange. And <clears throat> I mean, obviously I've talked to a lot of different people. And at the minute I'm in contact with somebody called Hamish who's in the Highlands of Scotland and he writes he's the true king of England. That was the Queen's mother, she be on the phone. He's the descendant of King Arthur. Okay. But he's got the people with. Yeah. And King Charles knows about it. The right family's tried to pay him off because there's been a documentary on him. Right. And he's, he's direct line, he's got connections with the ETs. I talked to him quite often later tonight. Very interesting guy. He looks like off the Lord of the Rings with a big white beard. Well, that's all the magic stuff going on in Scotland, right? And I had got into this conversation with him, and I'm saying, who am I? Because I believe I'm starseed, I believe I'm anything, angel, you know. And he says, it doesn't matter who you've been when you've lived here, you could have been many famous people. Yeah. Because I know I've lived in, in Egypt, in the Valley of the Kings, and, but I also know I was in the witch trials in Salem. Do you yeah. see what I mean? I've, I believe at one point I was a man, I was a black man and I was a slave. He says, you could be many different people who you've been in the history books. But what you've got to do, you know, is that it's your soul source. So you could be an angel where you've had a past life with Pleiadians, because I do believe my last life was in another planet, because I've got, I get flashbacks. Yeah. And you've had a flash, you have had past lives in other planets as well. But he says it's your soul source. What's important is it's not what you've been labelled as, like say they've been bloody Caesar or yeah. Napoleon. Yeah. That's just your name, what you were when you last came here, because we recycled around. Yeah. Your soul source is angel, and you are connected from Archangel Michael. And this is why you've struggled. Okay. Because you're too light. Too light? I'm the heaviest I've ever been. Don't tell me I'm too light, I'll be getting on them muffins. Oh. And sometimes if we're too light, we can rub up the darkness, and they can get jealous. Okay. But we've gone to a different level. Earth Angels have been, he was telling us this. <clears throat> Earth Angels have now got this shield of lilac, lavender, Michael light around them. Because we're coming into New Earth now. Okay. So if anybody ever tells anything negative, negative just refuse and don't take it. Yeah. Do you dream of flying? Um. Did you used to do that when you were little? I think maybe when I was little, like flying, yeah. Like, um, I dream of like, yeah, like, like actual, like just lifting like, off. Yeah, walking and just going like that. And, you're an earth angel. Yeah, that's So, what. yes, your mum and dad's baby, they made you. Yeah. In human form. But you're, you are an earth angel. Mm -hmm. Embrace that. Was that somebody knocking on the front door? No, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to ask? Did you still want to do television? Um. Yeah, I want to do. Because, like, I'm saying, don't look at things like that, might just try and yeah. everything you I can. I want to go to America next year after I finish uni. So, I want to go there for like a month if I can. Mm. And find out. And we're talking about LA because be careful there, mind. Yeah. Do you know about the Black Death with the rats there at the minute? <laughs> well, no, I don't, but. Um, what's, that, what's happening? Because um, we've got clients over there and that. Well, they're trying to clean up the streets over there because there is mucky streets over there. Yeah, you know? I know I, I've been in it. It's, Mm -hmm. Can't be. And there's rats with the phrase and it's like the black death. Hmm? Black death. And people are dying. Well, the vegetables are going in the hospital. I mean, they're not dying as much like they did back in them days because they've got all the medication, yeah, but yeah, they've been rushed in really poorly into hospital. Shit. Well, it's all I need that. When you dying in the friggin' black death. Yeah, I know. But I predicted in one of my one of the predictions that the Black Death was going to come back again. Well, I think it's still going to come back in the UK. There's more rats than there is people, you know. Clarify, Ellie. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know about you. I can't be able to get into the country because you have to. In the trunk. I don't know, I'm disabled and gear for the trunk. <laughs> oh, bless you. Right, yeah. there's a woman you're going to meet through the radio station. But I don't know if it's from a different company. Okay. In a, I got a London connection. Or further down south. Yeah. You've got to meet a name bigger than the UK before you would. I think it's a good idea and I think it would be nice. I think if you go to. Did you see you're going there next year? After uni, yeah. Right. Sure. You'll go. You'll go. And you'll put the feelers out. But I yeah. can see you going and then coming back again. Yeah. And I see you doing a lot more different things here. Because I'm not sugarcoat things. I'll tell you the way it is. Yeah. Um, but where you'd be really recognised, it's from London or further down south, will take you to overseas. It's funny you're getting Spain with me as well. That's where my dad lives. Is it? And I'm going in September. When you go to Spain in September, you're excited about something that could be coming off for you by then, to do with New Year. Possibly, oh, right, okay. I mean, I'm going to, I'm, well, I'm hopefully doing a vlog about going over the Madonna's opening night in New York and then, mm. then flying. Now, I'm not trying to be funny here, but you could end up meeting her. Well, face to face. And then I'm going from New York to Spain because it's the same week. So that's why. That's interesting. I'm getting a strange feeling around about that time for you. Cool. Because I think you're going to help so many people with your voice. Cool. That's good. Is that what you what want, the platform? Do. Yeah. So I want to do like these documentaries about um, disability within different places like the workplace within school and how people like look at the disabled and how people fit in with um, like everyday life being disabled. Keep thinking positive, don't listen to anyone's negativity because yeah. it's going to attract so much positive, I'm excited. Cool. There's the lovers cards coming in as well. The lovers. Yes I know. Does that frighten you? A little bit I think. Could be a water sign. What's dark side of you? Aquarius. But dark side is that, I don't want to flip it out or anything, like, <laughs> you know, like we're doing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's good stuff. Fab, thank you so much. Definitely yeah. Earth Angel now, I've figured it out. But Earth Angels like to entertain as well, you know, because we need that voice so we can put out, and it's the way the world is now, AI and everything, or television. So if we've got to have that platform, we've got to do it that way. Yeah, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Oh, sweetie. Thank I mean, you. it's going to be okay, I promise. So, there you have it, guys. My reading from the lovely Louise Jones Psychic. An amazing, amazing. I've got aliens in my garden. I've had someone have a vision about us. Um, I'm going to meet someone. At least I've got this on camera. So we're going to have a little look back and check to see what comes true. Things that she's told me in the past have came true. Oh, so check back, like the video, please subscribe. Let's get to a thousand before Christmas, if possible. Much love. Have a great week. See you next week. Peace.